Welcome back everyone. So another PlayStation 3 video today. In this video we're going to be looking at how to install PKG files on the PlayStation 3. So the benefits of installing a PKG file is that it'll actually install something directly onto your XMB home menu. So you can actually launch the game without needing to start up Multiman or anything like that. And there's a few different types of PKG files you'll come across if you get into the business of downloading these. Some will just work some will need fixes and some will need special license files to be installed so we're going to go over all of those different types of content today and i'll show you basically how it all works so we're going to get right into it i've got a few examples of content we're going to be installing let's head over to my computer and take a look at it all right so i've got three games lined up here to talk about today first one is bomberman ultra so bomberman ultra has just a standard pkg file here for installation it's also got a crack file. Next one we're going to look at is PSLR. PSLR has a PKG file and then it has fix files depending on your firmware. Third game we're going to look at is Metal Gear Solid 1, the PS1 game. It has an installation PKG file. It also has a wrap file which is an activation file. So three slightly different methods of installing a game. I'm going to go through and install them one by one and show you guys what needs to be done. Now for Metal Gear Solid 1 with the wrap file we're going to need to use a tool called React PSN in order to install those wrap files. So we're going to look at how to install each of these games, all the different types of installing a PKG file. First thing I'll need to do is send all of this content over to a USB drive and then connect it to the PS3. And just a reminder guys with packages you can either move them to the root of the USB drive or into a packages folder. So I'll just put all of these into a packages folder here. All right, so back on the PS3, go to game in the XMB and then find the package manager. Then install package files. And then you can choose either standard if you put them in the root or package directory if you put them in a packages folder. So I'm gonna start off with Bomberman Ultra. So this is just a standard install file, but it also has a crack file. So I'm just gonna install it. So now we can see it's installed, but chances are the full game wouldn't work if I tried to play it like that. So we'll also install the crack. And with that done, if we try to play the game, it should launch successfully. So sure enough, the game loads right up after having that crack. Yeah! So that's one type of package file you might run across online. Next one we'll look at here is PSLR. So this one has a standard install file and then it also has a fix depending on your firmware version. So when there's a fix, it's normally 3.55 or 4 and above, something like that. And with our systems, we're on the latest 4.81 or 4.82 firmwares. So we choose the higher of the two fixes in that situation. So let's see how this game goes when it's finished installing. Okay, so the game's installed. We see it on the home menu. Let's try it first without the fix. And we can see this content can be used if you renew the license in the PlayStation Store, which we can't do. So we'll go back to Package Manager, Install Package Files. Now I'm going to install the fix. That's done. Let's try to launch the game again. As you can see, having a bit more success the second time. So now I've actually got two more games here which need the third type of installation. So 
they've both got jargon names this two gigabyte one is actually fatal frame for the playstation 2 so i'll install this and it shouldn't work and the reason it won't work is because we need to use the wrap activation files so once i've installed these games i'll show you them not working and then we'll take a look at how to deal with the wrap files for them okay so that's fatal frame installed okay so here's fatal frame and i'll just show you what will happen if we try to run it it says the copyright protection information is invalid and there's not really much we can do at that point so we're going to need to work with those wrap files that i talked about earlier let's switch to the computer and i'll show you how it's done okay so on my computer here i've got the react psn pkg file this is a tool we're going to need to install so grab it from the first link in the video description and put it into either the root of your usb storage or the packages folder also you'll need to create a folder on your usb storage call it ex data just like this folder here ex data create this folder and then place your wrap files inside this folder so for the project zero ps2 game i've got this wrap file here i'm going to move it to the ex data folder on the usb storage and once i have that file in place as well as the react psn pkg file i'll switch back to the ps3 all right so over on the ps3 we can go ahead and install the react psn tool we're just going to install it we're not going to run it you can see it here with this magic hat icon now the next thing we need to do is attach the usb drive to the ps3 and put it in the rightmost usb port that is the usb port closest to the blu-ray drive now we're going to have to create a new user on the playstation so create a new user and we're just going to call it aa So create this new user. Now we're actually going to log in as AA. So once you've switched users, you can go ahead and run the React PSN. Just run it, don't hold down any other buttons when you do. And you need to make sure that your USB drive is in the rightmost port for this to work correctly. Now, it'll take a few seconds and then it's actually going to reboot your PlayStation 3. And when your system comes back on you'll notice that the aa user has actually changed to be called react psn and at this point if you were to try to run fatal frame it's going to have those rat files installed and the game will actually load up successfully my big brother he was so sweet and kind He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder... So as you can see, here's Project Zero loaded up and running successfully once we have those rat files installed. So that pretty much covers the different types of PKG files you'll find out there in the wild. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a really good website which provides a lot of PKG files. I'm really blown away by the site. It gives you pretty fast download speeds as well as just thousands of games that you can download in PKG format. So it's a great resource for the PlayStation 3 custom firmware scene. Anyway, that about does it for this video. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about PS2 and PS1 game loading on the PS3. So stay tuned for that. Just a reminder, guys, my channel is now accepting cryptocurrency donations as well as traditional currencies. So if you want to donate some Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash or Ether, you can find out how to do that at the bottom of the video description. There's also a PayPal link so you can donate in USD or whatever as well if you'd like to. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really appreciate those of you who donate. It helps keeping the channel going and keeping the uploads fast. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Have a good one.
Peace out. Peace out.